Mr. Riley. Oh, hello, Waldo. Yeah. Stars won't be up for another hour. Huh? Oh, I ain't studying the stars. I'm studying a budget. Uh, I wonder if I could borrow a couple of slices of bread. I looked at my bread box. And lo and behold, you were out of it. You took the words right out of my mouth. You're taking the bread right out of ours. <laughs> I gotta find that soapbox guy and get him to explain why my budget won't work. No matter how I figured, I got more going out than coming in. It's inflation, Mr. Riley. We're operating on cheap money. Well, you know where I can buy some? <laughs> if you debit, overcome your assets, there's only one solution. What's that? Take on another job. You mean work nights? Sure. I see where there's some part-time jobs open down Henley's department store, saw it in the paper. I'll do it, Waldo. No sacrifice is too great for my family. I'll do it if it kills me. Well, in that case, your insurance would balance it. Oh, we're on the right track, Mr. Riley. Uh, go inside and get your bread, Waldo. Yeah, butter too. Okay. Hey, don't cheer the people, what? It's only the help wanted section, Junior. Well, what do you want that for? When the budget won't work, Peg, there's only one thing to do. The head of the house has to earn extra money. Gosh, you mean Mom has to go to work? I said the head of the house, Junior. That means me. But you have a job. I mean an extra job, nights. Oh, I won't hear of it, Riley. You work too hard at the plant. Well, some nights you come home so tired, you practically fall asleep at the table. Remember last Friday night? You almost drowned in the clam chowder. <laughs> I'm a husband and father, Peg. And there's no sacrifice I wouldn't make for my little nest and the brood that's in it. Dad, must we be so corny? <laughs> All right, Dad. Maybe it's corny. But when the baby birds are hungry, the papa bird don't just sit around. He keeps on flying around till he finds enough worms to feed him. And believe me, from now on, I'm going to see that you birds have plenty of worms. Oh, this is sickening. You had an ad in the paper for a job here in the store. Yeah, yes, won't you be seated? Uh, we have several ads. Uh, which are you applying for? Oh, well, I, I got it right here. Oh. Uh, wanted, uh, model for ladies' lingerie. Huh? So, oh, this one. Oh, oh, yeah, here, here, here it is, here. Wanted, heavy set man for mattress department, part-time hours 7 to 11 p.m. Well, I ain't exactly heavy set, but I'm strong as an ox. Lifting mattresses is a cinch for me. I turn ours at home twice a month. <laughs> yes, I, I think you'll do. Report to me tonight at 6.30 on the first floor. Oh, thank you, Mr. McElroy. All right. I'll work like a beaver. You'll be proud of me. Yes. You see. Yes. Bye. Yes. Now, if you'll just step inside, Riley, I'll explain the job. Oh, sure. Nothing's too hard for me. Hey, this is the show window. That's right. Now, we're demonstrating a foam rubber mattress, and we want a heavy set live model in the bed. You mean you want me to sit on it? No, I want you to lie in it in a completely relaxed and natural position. Uh, uh, take your shoes off. And uh, put these on over your clothes here. Uh, 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 I don't wear pajamas. I'm used to a nightshirt. Well, the covers will be over you. It doesn't matter. Now, I want you to look as if you were sleeping. I don't think Peggy would like to see me laying in a window. I'll set, Mr. McElroy. Good. Miss Fordyce will assist you. You mean she's getting in, too? Miss Fordyce will display the cards to the public. Oh. Well, I still don't think Peg would like it. Well, make up your mind, Riley. Do you want the job or don't you? Well, then... Okay. For the sake of pegging the kids, I'll do it. Here we are. It's after 11 o'clock. You kids better get to bed. Oh, tomorrow's Saturday. Can't we stay up and congratulate Dad on his new job? Oh, I guess so. It's a pretty wonderful thing he's doing for us. Did he say what the job was? No, he phoned and said he had a part-time job at Hanley's. He'll be completely worn out. Here he comes. 
He doesn't look so worn out to me, though. Oh, he never let us see how tired he is. You children get the hot milk and sandwiches. Okay, Mom. Poor Dad. Oh, hello, Peg. What are you doing up so late? Waiting up for you, dear. Oh, you must be completely worn out. Your eyes are half closed. Oh, well, you got, but it's the lights. I ain't used to sleep. I, I mean, the lights keep beating down on me all the time. Hi, Pop. We made you some sandwiches and a nice glass of hot milk. Thanks, kids. I could use a little breakfast. Breakfast? It's after 11 o'clock. Oh, God, well, I mean a midnight snack. Well, you sit right down here and relax, dear. This hot milk will make you sleepy. Sleepy? Well, you've got to have some rest, dear. What kind of a job is it? Is it hard? How much are you getting, Pop? Uh, they're paying me five bucks a night. Hey, that's 30 bucks a week. Not bad. Can I have my back allowance? Junior, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Can't you see that your father's dead tired? What department are you in, Dad? Oh, well, uh, I'm in sort of uh, uh, the, the mattress department. I won't have you lifting heavy mattresses. I'm not going to let you kill yourself for us. Well, I ain't exactly killing myself. Remember, you got a screwy back, Bob. Don't worry about my back. It gets plenty of rest. Well, I don't like it. Oh, it's pretty wonderful of you to try, but it isn't fair and we don't expect it of you. Give it up, Dad. We'll get along. Sure, Pop. I'd rather have you than my back allowance. Archie, you're all pretty swell. I guess I got about the finest wife and kids in the whole world. And I don't mind doing this extra work, even if it is killing work. It's worth it. Eight hours a day at the plant, and then breaking your poor back at night, lifting heavy mattresses. It's too much, Friday. I can't take it. Oh, well, you don't exactly understand. Yes, I do. Now you just finish your milk and get to bed. Well, I just got up. I, I mean, I couldn't sleep now. Well, that's just because your nerves are overtaxed. You see, you can't even think straight. Oh, don't worry, Peg. I can do this job with my eyes shut. Good night, Dad. I think you're swell. Uh, same to you, Babsy. You're some pop, Pop. Five bucks a night. You sure hope you don't get canned. Junior, how can you say such a thing? I just meant being overtired. Well, that's the trouble. Your father's a man who never lies down on the job. <laughs> hey, come on, dear. Let's go to bed.